हाय वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज एन विनय कुमार वेलकम टू माय चैनल एन विनय कुमार बेसिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी टेट डीएसई टीआरटी एंड पीसी सिल्वर्स दैट इज नथिंग बट फोर्थ चैप्टर फ्रॉम द क्लास एट सो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू अपलोड ऑल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू दी टेट DRT, TRT, DSC, and other competitive exams in English medium. That's why I am requesting you, you have to follow my channel and subscribe my channel. So, in this chapter, how we will get the some questions? So, on board, I will explain some questions are there here. Just look at here. The question should be like this from this chapter. Who explain the concept of gravitational force? Below that we have four options. Among them we have to select any one. Hosting a fly is related to what? Either it is push or pull. In rainy season, why more accidents are happen? Which physical quantity can changes a body from one state to the another? Next question is to perform daily physical activities. Which force is required? And friction force is always opposite to the what? so in this way we will get questions in this chapter so i will explain all the content in a very explained manner very expressive and with simple examples in those concept you will get so many questions that's why you have to watch the video without any skip let's go for the topic now the definition of force the question should be like this first question should be like this push or pull is called as dash options like force momentum velocity none of these then what how to select and dash is the quantity that can changes body from one state to the another again options force momentum velocity acceleration what you have to select so for that just you have to know about the definition of force look here definition of force push or pull is called force push or pull is called force and we have another definition also there physical quantity which can changes from one state to the another state of your body so it means that here pulling means what it is we have to pull something from one place to the another place that means what we are applying something that's due to that only the body can move move as it is pulling or pushing for example one stone it is there huge stone we want to slide it for that we have to push it and there is one long roller it is there so we have to pull it so that's why here in general definition of force simply what we call pull or push is called force and we have another definition what it is that for example physical quantity which can changes from one state to the another here state means nothing but either it is rest or motion for example here we are taking a ball football so here it is the floor on that floor there is some football it is there so initially it is now at rest at rest position one boy kicked the ball in this direction by applying some force now it is comes into the motion and it is simply going on so now what i have to say it is coming from state of rest to the state of motion and for example one bo one more boy is here and he was simply placed his leg on the ball where it is motion now it is simply coming from motion to the rest that means what here simply when we apply some force then only the body will come it is come from rest to the motion or motion to the rest that's why here simply we are here to say that is the definition of force the physical quantity which can changes or tries to change 
position of the body that should be what we call force and here and here now you have to know some questions related to the definition of pull or push here some activities are given in the textbook of 8th class so in that he was mentioned some activities those activities are is every activity is one question that's we have to watch very carefully so the activities are here some activities mentioned here the first thing is digging borewell digging borewell it is push or pull we have to know we are digging into the ground earth that means what pushing into the pipes into the ground that's why that is what this is the right one digging borewell is push and now sipping juice with a straw one glass it is there in that some juice it is there and we kept some straw and we want to have it simply we have to sip it that means what the juice is moving in upward that means how it is possible we are pulling it that's why this is also here nothing but s and magnet attracts the nails for example here this is a magnet in the surrounding some nails are there they are attracted towards magnet it means that what it is also pulling and fruits falling from tree by themselves by themselves we are not storing you are not throwing any stone onto the fruits simply they are falling from tree by themselves it is comes down why because everybody knows the reason behind that what it is gravitational force so the gravitational force can pull the fruit in downwards that's why it is also as pull hosting a flag so here it is the flag now here simply it is having like this so some rope it is there while we are pulling the rope in downwards the flag will goes up that's why it is pulling all right answer and erasing a blackboard for example now this is the board and this marker is the desert and if you can move like this now it is push again if you want to move like this as pull <coughs> in any one direction maybe it is push if you can apply the both directions maybe it is pull and push for example in that question they will give only one option like push or pull and push and pull then we can go for push and pull there is any one of that then you can do prior to the push so like this we will get the questions like on the pull or push definition like this definition of the force we will get the questions like this so every activity is the one so now let's go for types of force so we can discuss about the types of force which are the contact forces and which are the non contact force now let's go for that force can be divided into two types that is here contact forces and non contact forces are force at distance so contact forces and non contact force again in them we have muscular force frictional force normal force and tension they can be taken as the contact forces the bit should be like this among the following which is the example for contact force the question should be like that options normal force magnetic force gravitational force electrostatic force the answer is what normal force so the question should be framed like that okay that's why you have to remember which are coming under the contact forces and which are coming under the force at distance clear so now the first thing is contact forces muscular force frictional force normal force and tension and now when we go for force at distance then in that magnetic force gravitational force and electrostatic force they can be taken as the non contact force so what is mean by contact force to do work 
or to apply the force there must be contact between the object and our body then that force is called contact force to perform any activity or to do any task we have to touch the object to apply the force that type of force is what we call contact force clear so first we go for individual explanation what is the muscular force in our daily life to do physical activities we have to use our muscles to do brush we have to use the muscle to pick up any object from the ground we have to use the muscle to wear the clothes we have to use the muscle force to do anything at least for to eating for food also we have to apply the muscle force so the force which can be operated with the help of the muscles that should be called muscle force the bit should be like this to do our daily activities the physical activities which force is required muscle force when you are finding any word like muscle the force required to do work with our muscles the question should be like this then what you have to select muscular force and next thing is frictional force what is the frictional force and on the frictional force the question should be like this the frictional force is always dash to the motion of the body the frictional force is always dash to the opposition to the motion of the body that is the answer opposition look here now for like same example i am going to take it is the ball and it is initially at rest position i am saying now the position is a and when we kicked it or when we applied some force then it is moving towards like this and up to moving the point b that is finally coming to the rest so the direction of motion is what from a to b it is moving from a to b here the ball and the floor both are in contact this is the floor and this is the ball at this part both are in contact when they are in contact there is some force is acting in opposite direction of direction of moving of ball this is the direction of moving of ball the ball is moving in this direction and there is some force is acting in in opposite direction to the motion of the ball that should be called here frictional force what is that frictional force in that example what you have to say friction is b to a clear and tell me now if the ball is coming from b to a then what is the direction of friction a to b so you have to always remember the friction is always in opposite direction of motion the applied force is tries to move the object but frictional force is always tries to decrease the speed of the object that's why you have to say what you have to say both are in opposite directions and do you remember one thing maybe forces are so many there but they have unique unit that is what in si units what you have to say newton how we can represent with capital n so in mks or in si what is the unit newton so that's about the frictional force generally we can the applied force can be represented by the capital f and frictional force should be represented by small f now what i am going to say this is the applied force and this is what frictional force both are in opposite direction so that is the information is simply related to the frictional force up to 8th class level okay later we discuss in detail in up upcoming classes and next thing is normal force what is the normal force so children this is a, the aspirants who are preparing for exam and this is the one of the important topic the question should be like this when any body is on the floor when a body is on the floor then how many forces acting on the body clear the question should be like this when the body is at equilibrium state on a floor 
or unitable then how many forces are acting on the body then there are two forces acting on the body the first thing is here n what is n normal force you have to remember the normal force is always in upward on the body and the down thing is here it is the weight what is that weight first thing is what is mean by normal force you have to know about that this is the floor or any table on that one block it is there here this is the surface of floor and here this is the block and this is the bottom surface of the block both are coming into the contact both are comes into the contact due to that the particles which are on the two surfaces they are going to be compressed each other due to that there is some resultant upward force it is there that should be what we call here normal force when a body is kept over any surface the two surfaces which are in contact there is some particles are going to be under some pressure due to that there is some resultant upward force acting on the body in upward direction that is what is called here normal force clear when a body is on the floor in which direction normal force is acting on it that's the question then you have to what you have right in upward direction and tell me now so just we know when we apply some force on the body the body will be moves in the same direction here this is the body on that body we apply some force then the body will move in the same direction here my question is when we are keeping any object on the table it does not goes in upward direction even though force is acting like normal force here the body it is said on that body some normal force is acting but the body is not moving in the upward direction as like this the reason behind that what it is that normal force is balanced by weight this is the one more question why the body is not moving even though two forces are acting on the body means these two are equal question should be like this when the body is on the table at equilibrium then the normal force is balanced by dash options like this force velocity acceleration and weight then we have to select weight so this is about the information about the normal force and already we have some idea about the weight that is what w is equals to mg and what have to write that is n is equals to mg we have to write and next thing is in the last one is the in the contact forces that is what tension so here now we are taking the same block now and that should be suspended from a roof with the help of some string or any rope clear we are taking a body and that should be suspended from a roof with the help of any string or rope then the body is in air where it is the body is in air then obviously here some weight is acting in downward because the body which is in the air that should be obviously attracted by the earth that's why there is some weight that should be acts in downwards clear and what is the tension means here at this point where we tied to the object at that point there is some resultant upward forces acting that should be called tension clear when the body is suspended there is some upward force acting on the body that should be what we call tension so so many of you may be going to be confused why because the definition of normal force and tension both are similar so that's why you have to remember like this when we are discussing about the normal force the object is on the floor on the floor or on any surface but not is in air it is not suspended body but it is a suspended body that's why in this case the body is in air and in this case what you have to write there is some upward force acting on the body when it is suspended that is the tension when the there is some upward force acting on the body when the body is kept over a surface that is the normal force so that's why you have to get clarity about the 
tension and normal force so this is the explanation regarding the contact forces so now we can go for non contact force let's go discuss about the non contact force or force at distance among them the first thing is magnetic force so before going to that you have to know about the what is magnetic field here magnetic force is nothing but field concept field concept what is field concept means for example this is the magnet in the surrounding of magnet up to this area the force of attraction of the magnet is available outside that boundary there is no possibility of having force of attraction that's why this particular region is what have to call magnetic field here gravitational field electrostatic force and magnetic force all are belongs to the field concept here when consider magnetic magnet in the surrounding of that magnet up to some distance only the force of attraction takes place out of that particular boundary there is no force of attraction that's why what i have to say it is the field concept and next thing is and it is a non contact force why because for example here we are taken this is the first magnet this is the north pole and this is the south pole and this is the second magnet north pole and south pole when we are kept together like this here north north the, those are what it is like poles you have to remember like poles always repels and unlike poles always attracts that's why here there should be moves in opposite directions that's why what you have to say even though there is no physical contact between the magnets or objects here magnets there is some forces acting that's why it is called non contact force clear and you have to remember like poles always or dash and the question will be like that and unlike poles are always dash so that's why every one point it is nothing but a bit you have to that's why you have, while you are watching the video you have to prepare the notes that will help to you for exams and now children now here you have to go for magnetic field lines among the magnetic field lines one question should be framed like this when the magnet consists of more magnetic field lines then what about its strength that's the question generally when a magnet consists of more number of field lines that should be having a strong magnetic field if a magnet consists of minimum number of field lines then it is a weak magnetic field to understand the magnetic field lines up to 8th class range there is some one activity is given in your textbook what's that here we have to take one white paper on that we have to keep some iron fillings and in that if we can keep a bar magnet then those iron fillings are spreads like this we are taking a paper in that what have taken some iron fillings and in that what have to keep some a bar magnet should be like this now those should be arranged like this the pattern of magnetic fields as shown in figure then if can magnet can forms the more number of lines then the strength of the magnet is more and it's really it's really also strong if your magnet forms only less number of lines then it is a weak magnet and that field also weak magnetic field so like that on this magnetic force three or four four questions should be formed the first thing is what there is no contact between the poles but the force is acting is it possible or not yes and second thing is what like poles always repels and third one is what unlike poles always attracts and magnetic force is what concept field concept and next thing is what the magnetic field lines are more if the strength of the field is more if the magnetic field are less strength of the field is weak or less so that's simply about the magnetic force and next thing is gravitational force on that gravitational force concept the first question should be like that what who explained about the concept of gravitational force who is that fellow he is nothing but newton newton only explained about the gravitational force 
for that also some story is there he was sad and he, under the tree suddenly the apple is falling down everybody know that story that's why you have to simply remember about that gravitational force who explain the gravitational force means he is the first person explain about the gravitational force and what is mean by gravitational force if any two bodies are having some masses and they are separated by some distance then there is some force of attraction between them that force is what we call gravitational force clear there is some force of attraction between the two bodies which are having some masses that should be what we call gravitational force and the gravitational force is uniformly available on the earth surface but when we are going up and moving down the value of gravitational forces may be varies and you have to remember one thing the gravitation force of one planet should be changed to the another and that should be clearly explained in the ninth class ninth class while i am explaining the ninth class videos then i will post all the questions regarding the remaining topic of gravitational force and now here next thing is electrostatic force what is mean by electrostatic force when a charged body is available at one place and we are keeping some another body of uncharged near to it after some time the uncharged body becomes charged that should be what we call electrostatic force due to the charged body uncharged will body will get some charges so that should be what we call electrostatic force for that the best, best example is we have to take the one balloon and that should be inflated and that balloon should be rubbed on our skin and you have to keep somewhere on the ground it will attract some pieces of dust particles and papers like that it means that that is the example of electrostatic force some electric charge is generated because of frictional force so that is about the electrostatic force so in this way we have to get the information about the magnetic force gravitational force and electrostatic force and next thing is one more important topic in this chapter that is the net force what is net force let's be discuss now here the algebraic sum of forces the algebraic sum of forces acting on the body that should be taken as a net force so you have to remember force is nothing but here it is the vector quantity the first thing is force is what vector quantity so the question should be like this the force has dash and dash that means here force has magnitude and direction what it is that magnitude and direction okay now let's go for net force so this is the one body on that body we are having so many forces like this f1 f2 like this and f3 and f4 and f5 then what is the net force generally the net so net force should be represented by f net that should be written as in this case now sum of all those f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus f5 the sum of the all the forces which are acting on your body that should be taken as net force you have to remember the body always moves in the direction of net force only even though so many forces acting on the body but the body will move in the direction of net force so that's why here when so many forces acting on the body in which direction the body can move then what is the answer net force to understand that i will give one example here very simple example this is the body and here 20 newton force is acting and this is the 5 newton force is acting and this is 10 newton force is acting then what is the net force simply we will write like this so here both are in same direction that's why we have to add them like this 20 plus 5 and plus of minus 10 newtons why we are taking minus 10 this 10 is opposite of 20 and 5 
that is along the negative x axis that's why we can take minus so 20 plus 5 25 minus 10 that is what 15 newtons so in this way we will find out the net force of the body and now here one more question is there when what happened when certain amount of force acting on particular area what will be happen that is the question is there simply that is nothing but here pressure p is equal to f by a force acting on particular area is called pressure so that means what the force can creates the pressure when we consider particular area and he was asking questions be like this what is the unit of pressure that is nothing but newton for meter square what is that newton for meter square and it is also called as pascal so i think i hope that i covered all the maximum questions what are coming from this chapter so i hope you understand so if you can understand this my concept and if you can seriously preparing for TET or DSE for or any other competitive exams just follow my channel share and subscribe my channel and after watching the complete video you have to share your opinion at this plus or minus so you have to post one comment to me and support me thank you